Hi, you may remember in previous videos when I introduced the basic workflow, I briefly touched on the edit schedule page. This time, we'll go into more detail. Now let's log into my author account dot and I'll show you how to make use of it. Let's go to the edit schedule page. Here we have day and week schedules that we can create. The whole idea of this is that you can pre-select the running order of slideshows that you regularly use without having to create the schedules from scratch every time. Day schedule is a running order for a 24 hour period that is not set to any specific day. You can define the default start time in the user preference under edit schedule, for example to 8. So the 24 hour period runs from 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 the following day. Drag and drop the slideshow here. The slideshow is added to the schedule using the configured default start time for that user. Double click on these tabs to allow editing of the start time, stop time or play count. When you schedule the slideshows, you may leave any gaps. For example, I want this content to play at 12. The gap will be automatically filled by default contents if it's been set up. Now save the schedule. Go to Set Playout, drag the Save Day Schedule onto the desired day. Any gaps in the schedule will be filled with default content can be seen here. Now click Upload. A week schedule represents seven 24-hour periods and it works in the same way. But what's more, you can link days together. For example, if the running order applies to Monday through to Friday, you will not need to copy and paste into each day. Simply click on this link icon. Now other days have automatically picked up the running order. Any changes will also be applied to all the linked days. Go to Set Playout, drag the saved week schedule onto the desired start date and the week schedule will run for the following 7 days. And now click Upload. A useful feature in Zyrus is that if a slideshow is edited, Zyrus automatically tracks the item in the calendar that needs to be re-uploaded, so any impacted slideshows day schedules or week schedules in a calendar will automatically go back to the pending state. Simply click Upload again. Another useful feature to highlight is the ability to extract day and week schedules on the calendar back to the parts that they were built from. Simply right click and select Extract All Items. Now, we've covered most of Zyra's Create. Coming next, there will be examples of some advanced feature demonstrating how you can make use of Zyra's to its full potential. Thanks very much for watching the how-to videos. I'll see you again soon.